Hello everyone, my name is Ray Xiang Tang. Today, I will give a talk about our work, mitigating gender bias in captioning systems. Fairness in machine learning becomes a hot research topic in recent years. In machine learning, a given algorithm is said to be fair if its results are independent of given variables, especially those considered sensitive such as gender and the race. So here, I give you a bird eye view of the important components in the machine learning pipeline. So from the data perspective, during the data collection process, our question would be, does the data contain social bias towards certain groups? From the model perspective, we need to verify whether the model learn or amplify bias in the training data. Finally, from the user perspective, they care about whether the outcomes depend on the sensitive features, such as gender, race, and the age. All of those questions should be considered by the stakeholder. For example, the model developer and the company. So in this work, we focus on the image captioning tasks and find captioning data set, such as COCO, contain gender bias found in web corpora. The task has images with humans in varied poses and with different levels of obscurity. This makes gender identification far more challenging. As a result, learning models may heavily rely on the image context for gender identification, leading to incorrect or even offensive errors. For example, predicting a woman as a man based on the appearance of the motorcycle. So to overcome the unwanted bias, we mainly face two challenges. Firstly, Quantifying gender bias learned by the models is not easy. Since biased model that's relying on incorrect visual evidence can still generate correct captions. For example, the model predicts the person as man based on the tennis rackets. We call this right for the wrong reasons. Also, the presence of the strong priors in the data sets not only result in biased model, but also makes it hard to detect the bias and by the models. Due to the IID nature of random split of train and test sets, biased model can still achieve competitive performance on the test set that has similar priors in the training data. Secondly, it is challenging to explore correct gender evidence by model itself. Our experiment indicates that without regularizations, models are prone to use contextual associations for gender identification. So to overcome unwanted bias, a straightforward solution is to train the model on a debiased data set. However, we emphasize that balancing gender bias in a large scale data set is almost infeasible. So to reveal gender bias, we present a new split called COCO GB dataset. The dataset is created by reorganizing data distribution such that for each gender, the distribution of image context is very different between trend and the test set. Our hypothesis is that models relying on image context to provide gender identification will suffer from a huge gender prediction error on the anti-stereotypical test dataset. Also, we propose a new guided attention image captioning model and encourage the model to explore correct gender features by self-guided supervision. We also consider the semi-supervisor scenarios where a small amount of extra supervision is accessible. 
and our training pipeline can seamlessly add extra supervision to accelerate self-exploration process. We calculate the gender context joint distribution in COCO dataset, as the figure shows. We find COCO dataset has severe gender bias problem. For example, most images about sports co-occur more frequently with men, such as 95% of surfboard images only contain male players. We also see a similar bias in the test data set. So as a result, a biased model relying on incorrect visual evidence can still achieve competitive performance on the test set that has similar bias. This is problematic for validating progress in image captioning, since it becomes unclear whether the improvements derived from learning correct visual features or empirical associations. So to construct an unbiased test dataset, we utilize a greedy algorithm to select a secret test dataset from the original test split so that each object category has a nearly equal culpability of appealing with women and men. So equipped with our new benchmark datasets, we evaluate several widely used captioning models. Gender error measures the error rate when describing women and men. The result proved that the original test split indeed underestimates the gender bias meant by the models. The gender error on the COCO GB test dataset is much higher than the original test dataset. Most models have a severe gender bias problem. We also report the outcome distribution for each gender on the secret test. We observe that the error rate of women is substantially higher than the men. We also find that models with a high gender error rate can still get a competitive caption quality scores. For example, a depth attention model obtains a decent caption quality performance on three caption quality metrics. But at the same time, this model has the highest women error rate across all models, that it has misclassified 27% of the images with women into men. This result indicates that commonly used evaluation metrics such as BLEU and the CIDER mainly focus on the overall caption quality and are not sensitive to the gender error. To overcome the unwanted bias, we propose to regularize the model attention with desired explanation with a small amount of expert labeled supervision. We expect, we expect the prediction of the model to satisfy the lotion, right? For the right reasons. To achieve the goal of self supervision on network attention, we propose a new guided attention image captioning model, GAIC, which provides self guidance on visual attention to encourage the model to capture correct gender visual evidence. GIC has two stream training pipeline, which share parameters with each other. The purpose of stream SCG is to output high quality caption, then generate a soft mask based on the attention maps of gender words to remove images regions for gender identification. The second stream SGM then force the attention generated by SCG to be focused on the correct regions in the images. 
the high level idea is that for a biased model relying on the contextual clues for gender identification, softmax will remove the biased context. For example, a laptop. As a result, the stream SGM will generate a low quality caption because of missing the important context features. The two stream can generate correct caption only when the model focus on the correct gender features, as the example show in the feature. In addition to self-exploration training, we also consider the semi-supervised scenarios where a small amount of extra supervision is added to accelerate the self-exploration process. More specifically, we utilize 10% data with the pixel level person segmentation masks to guide the network to focus on the described person for gender identification. The model trend with extra supervision is denoted as GAICES. Here, results show that GAIC model significantly improves the gender prediction performance. Compared to the baseline model, gender accuracy of women increased from 53% to 62%. And its error rate reduced from 25% to 16%. Compared to GAIC, GAIC-ES, which has trained with extra supervision, obtains consistently better performance. Besides gender accuracy, we also expect the model to generate uh, fluent captions. We use METEOR and the CIDER to evaluate caption quality. Results show that GAIC and the GAICES only cause a minor performance drop on caption quality compared to the baseline model. To measure whether the model focuses on the correct gender features, we calculate the similarity between attention maps of gender words and the person segmentation masks. Here, we use attention sum, which calculates the sum of attention weights in regions of person. Results show that GAIC learns to concentrate on the regions of the described person for the gender word prediction. We also show some qualitative comparisons. We observed that the baseline model utilized biased visual features and thus makes incorrect gender prediction. In comparison, GIC learns to concentrate on regions of the described person for gender word prediction. In summary, bias exists in different stages of DNN training. For example, during the data collection, there are human bias. And during training process, the model might further amplify the bias in training data. Interpretation could help us to understand the model decision process and thus become an effective debugging tool to detect potential unfair model. Then we can fine tune the model based on the bias found by the interpretation tools. For example, we can clean the data and make the data set more balanced or we can design bias tolerance model to further solve the fairness problem. Our code and the designed benchmark data set are public available. To see more interesting details, please check our paper. Thanks for watching.